What's up people, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Sanjid. I keep on regularly making videos on this game which is FC Mobile and today I'm gonna be concentrating on center backs which are the core of the team and I'm gonna be telling you three back center back in this game which are available from the market that we sh you should have it in your team if you wanna succeed faster in this game. My team level is right now is 63 so I've been playing this game since the very first day so through my experience I'm gonna be suggesting you the best center backs in this game your way to success begins right now let's start now what I'm gonna do is that go to market first and uh, I'm gonna search here one moment I'm gonna type in here in the position I'm gonna type in here center back okay search so these are going to show me the best center backs which are available in this game right now the first one is Lucio Brazilian icon then we got Maldini we got Marquez we got Ruben Diaz Baresi Blanc and other center backs now I'm gonna rate three back center backs and how they're gonna be really really helpful for you let me show you my team first um, this is my club almost all the players are ranked up and trained up you can see most of the players are level 30 right now now at number three i'm gonna be suggesting you you should have saliva this is the third best center back in this game reason for this is this card is very very useful card we're gonna check it out player overall performance increases plus three in the game so effectively this very very cheap card is available in the market and you, this player is 96 is overall in the 96 not just 93 i have trained him up to level 29 and ranked him up max and why i'm saying he's one of the best you just see his height is 193 centimeter he heads the ball really well now let me show you the traits power header he's a power header he heads the ball really well very hard so certainly if it's hitting the sweet spot of his head it's a goal attributes uh, ball roll skill moves are two stamina is pretty good now again let's jump to trades work rate is medium work rate defense is high so automatically performance gets better throughout the game and his work rate defensively is very good so he is a very very good player you should have it in your team now I'm gonna compare his overall stats his shooting is 50 that is his foot shooting but that's not used much his header is generally used and um, pace is pretty lively pretty good his defense is awesome his 135 and physical is also very important that is 127 so he is overall if you're gonna take out the average is above 110 now these are the skills which you should assign when you rank him up I have assigned Rise is defending, is awareness increases, marking increases, standing tackle increases. Then you should take him as a no nonsense center back. Once you upgrade him to pass rank 4, then you're gonna get this no nonsense center back because his awareness, heading, marking, strength, balance, sliding, uh, standing tackle, everything just goes up. So, no, no, no nonsense center back that you have to and the uh, fourth skill which you should have is physical physical will increase his ball control his strength and balance so he's a complete package William Saliba and I rate him at number three now center back number two in the game in my opinion is Lucio why I say so let's check out this card of Lucio I don't know what is exactly how to pronounce in Spanish and Brazilian language it's Lucio Lucio I'm gonna say it in English it's Lucio for me um, he is just a phenomenal player at center back he is just wonderful look at his traits he does rule as a skill move you know rule as a skill move is is just probably given to a center attacking midfielder or given to left finger right winger or a straight or a center forward but Lucio is doing skill move, rule skill move at the back, center back position. 
and um, he is a three star skill mover stamina is four and a half of this card it's a brilliant card available in the market at very very cheap price and um, his traits he can do powerful driven free kick his free kick is pretty good dives into tackle leadership power header power header now again he has got very good header his height is little shorter than Saliba is 188 centimeter but he is very useful at center back due to his skill moves and overall his attributes his pace is good his shooting is good his passing is good dribbling is brilliant for a center back defending is awesome and physical is awesome so he is a must have center back in your team especially this card because of his skill move that is rule a so i'm gonna rate lucio lucio at two I'm gonna tell you the best center back now you're gonna contradict with me and you're going to send me Roberto Carlos now he's not even a center back he's a left back but why you should have it as a center back position I'm gonna tell you no problem if you are playing with a combination which I'm playing that is a diamond combination 343 three, or you are playing with any other 343 three combination you should still have at this position Roberto Carlos now showing you his details now look at it his pace is just <laughs> remarkable 131 he is fully maxed up he's ranked up maxed his trained is max his training is max shooting is 87 passing is 112 i think it's a max for a center back or a left back dribbling is 117 defending is 125 physical is 104 so you're going to be telling me his defending is worse than saliba and lucio but he is such a useful player due to his pace his defending automatically goes plus 10 due to his pace. Now look at his traits. Now uh, knock on is a skill move that just passes the ball. He just dribbles the ball further away from any defender. So it's a pretty useful skill move actually if you know how to use it. Then uh, he is a long throw. Long throw traits means he can hit the ball from a longer distance. Very effective in free kicks Roberto Carlos due to his straight long throw. Powerful driven free kick is an added perk that he has. Powerful driven free kick plus long throw. So his free kick is the best in the game. Avoids weaker foot. He plays only with his powerful foot. And um, long shot taker again. So Roberto Carlos is the best back position player if you're going to have it at center back. And why I'm saying so that this card is center back. I'm going to show it to you. Um, the skill moves which I have assigned. At number one is defending i've just upgraded once this skill point just one skill point then give three skill points to balance once you rank up crossing becomes very good dribbling becomes superb marking becomes awesome this marking is very important once the player gets plus 15 in marking so he's automatically going to mark the player moving towards center back position or a left back position to stop him you know so marking is a very useful trait that he has and another thing that you should have is then you should once you upgrade him four times you will unlock this full back so full back automatically makes Roberto Carlos a center back from left back to full back you can position him anywhere and this full back is such a useful trade which he gets acceleration plus 10 awareness plus 10 awareness and marking very important crossing dribbling marking gets another plus 10 standing tackle plus 10 so roberto carlos is just remarkable he is just a full back not a center back in this game so he is definitely number back number one in this game rather god of center backs to me fc mobile currently better than maldini better than Kanavaro. if you want to have him certainly do have him now let's compare um you may contradict with me no 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 you are incorrect Rudiger is going to be better, Maldini is going to be better, or Blanc is better, or Baresi is better, or Ivan Dijk is better. No, but these three are special. If you're going to play with them, you're going to, you know, then give me a like for this video. Okay, let's see Maldini's card. Let's compare. Maldini has got um, four traits ball roll, two star skiller, dives into tackle, team player. So he's not even got a power header. He's just got a couple of uh, stars in the skill moves. 
Mm, not a power player. I will never buy Maldini in this game because this card is probably overrated. And again, see the new card of Lucio. I think still my card is better. Why it's not this good? Because of this skill move. Three star, three star skiller. Same skill, but the traits heal to heal flick. Heal to heal flick is worse. It's 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 not as good as Rule. Rule is better skill move compared to heal to heal flick in this game. So I think the previous card which I shown of Lucio is better than this card of Lucio. Then we got Marquez here. Marquez um, heel to heel, heel to heel flick, dives into tackle, leadership, long passer. Now he is a three-star skiller, but I've rated him below William Saliba. Why I've rated him below below William Saliba is only due to one reason: 184 centimeter height. William Saliba is 193 centimeter, so that height advantage, which you can use it when a corner comes in and you can score goal through William Saliba's head which is going to be difficult to score with a Marquez head now Ruben Diaz Ruben Diaz is again overrated in this game I'm going to say why Ruben Diaz is again overrated look at his attributes he's just a two stars two stars killer plus only four stars stamina um, ball roll knee side spin leadership power header okay power header okay good but just 187 centimeter in height compared to 193 of William Saliba now again Saliba is better in this game then we have Rudiger Rudiger is good but not better than Saliba some may argue with me some may not ball roll dives into tackles power header height is also pretty good 190 70 centimeter plus power header difference I'm gonna show you between Antonio Rudiger and my card um, one second let me go to my team uh, what is this no yeah this card of William Saliba this advantage which I have with this card is plus 3 so it's automatically at 96 live performance increases so this is my suggestion on center backs these three are to me the best center backs in this game if you want to see further videos of mine on Zidane, Del Pier and other straits, then you can also check my YouTube channel. There are other videos on FC Mobile. And if you've got further questions or queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Have a good day and I'm going to take a leave. Bye-bye.